Welcome back, Canaanites. Like previous Halo titles, Infinite contains collectible skulls hidden throughout its campaign. There are 12 in total, and as always, I have timestamps in the video for each skull if you're looking for specific ones. Keep in mind too that levels cannot be replayed like previous Halo games, so if you miss one of these, you may need to start a new playthrough. With that, let's begin. The Boom Skull is found on the first level of the game, Warship Gabrakken. During the level, you'll come to this long, two-leveled hall with three lifts moving banished crates on the right side. To find the Boom Skull, ride the middle lift up, then jump across to this adjacent crate. The Cowbell Skull is found on the second level, Foundations. Not long after recovering the weapon, you'll come to an area where you see ghostly images of children running around. Continue forward like normal until you come to this room. The skull is found in the rafters along the ceiling. You'll need to grapple up there to grab the skull, which can take a few attempts. You'll want to get to the highest opening on this first column, then carefully position yourself to grapple into the rafters. A yellow icon appears on your reticle when a surface is within grappling range, a useful feature when attempting to grab this skull. Once you're up there though, you can easily claim the cowbell skull. The Catch Skull is the first available skull once you reach the open world of Zeta Halo. Catch can be found in the far north section of the ring in this little canyon. It's normally guarded by some banished forces, including hunters. Once dealt with, the skull can be collected from a tree stump full of UNSC marine helmets. The Fog Skull is located along one of the ring's edges, to the west of Fob Alpha. The skull is found within this little cave among the hexagonal columns, and can be hard to reach without an air vehicle. The I Would Have Been Your Daddy Skull is found atop the tower. While there are a variety of ways to reach the top, a flying vehicle is probably the easiest. The Blind Skull can be found to the south of the tower, in this large crevice on the ring's surface. Specifically, it's found beneath this small strip of land connecting two sections, in a secret little cave of sorts. The Thunderstorm Skull can be found atop a Forerunner column, near the area with the banished AA guns. Not much else to say there.
The black eye skull can be found here, hidden behind a waterfall. The entrance can be hard to spot without a flying vehicle, but it can be accessed rather easily. The Famine Skull, the last skull found on the open world of Zeta Halo, is found on the far eastern end of the ring's playable area, atop this lone piece of land. The wasps seen here will always be there, incidentally. The skull itself is found in the hand of a dead elite general. The Mythic Skull is found on the level of the Command Spire. Not too far into the level, when you get to this part with the columns turning, continue forward until the columns turn again, this time being etched with Forerunner lines by the light. Grapple up to one of the columns, then grapple up to this opening in the ceiling. Grapple one more time to this Forerunner door, and inside you'll find the Mythic Skull. The Grunt Birthday Party Skull is found on the level Repository, and might be the most complicated one to get. The first step starts when you come to this room with a terminal in the center, surrounded by three Forerunner doors. After activating the terminal, a light bridge will connect the column you're standing on to one of the doors. Instead of proceeding, look to the right and grapple over to this door instead. Inside you'll find a Forerunner Power Seed. Take the Power Seed and get it over to the opposite door. You can watch on screen how I chose to do this, but do so in whatever method works best for you. Do note though, if you drop the power seed at any point, it'll just respawn in its original location. Once you get to the other door, place the power seed in the receptacle and advance through the level like normal. Not too long later, after the weapon points out the auditorium to the chief, you'll come to this room. Looking up, you'll see an opening that would normally be covered with glass. The power seed we planted earlier removed it. Inside will be a few cloaked elites and the Grunt Birthday Party Skull. The last skull for Halo Infinite, the Bandana Skull, is found on the level the Silent Auditorium. When the level starts, play through like normal until you come to this room, where Sentinels first appear on the level. Whatever you do, don't kill any Sentinels here. If you do, the skull won't be available anymore. After that room, continue through the level until you arrive here, where a pair of light bridges activate. Head straight across the bridge to the opposite door, and inside will be the Bandana Skull. If the door is not active when you arrive, you'll have to restart the mission and try again. And that concludes this guide, though if you'll tolerate some brief criticism, I really hope 343 can add a way to replay some of these missions, so players don't have to completely restart the game if they miss a skull or two. I'd also love if you could actually pick up the skulls like Halo 2 or 3. 
I always loved grabbing skulls in Halo 3 just to see how long I could get through a level by just skull bashing Covenant brains. But for now, I hope you all found this useful. If you're having trouble with any other collectibles, I have plenty more guides on the channel. Check out my full playlist for any of the various collectibles scattered across Zeta Halo. For now though, this has been Halo Cannon. First, I'd like to give a big thank you to our Horospis patrons. First, there's Hope, then we have Freight, Discombobulated Sycophant, Man in the Dark, Keisha Dila, Daddy Anarchy, Great Scott Productions, Jumpy Sucks Balls, Lone Ronin 117, Austin Cantrell, and Ever Corrado. Thank you all for your amazing support of the channel. Next, I'd like to thank our theoretical patrons. If you'd like to see your name here or get a direct shout out, check out patreon.com slash halo cannon. You can simply support the channel or get additional benefits, such as behind the scenes materials, including raw audio for upcoming videos, or even shout outs like this. All patrons now get early access to certain videos as well, and your Patreon title will appear in the Halo Cannon Discord. However, your continued viewership is more than enough for me. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, and maybe even subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. If you really enjoy my stuff, turn on that notification bell so you can be among the first to see new videos when they release. But for all my fellow Cannonites, keep on being awesome.